Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. In this video, I will show how to add your email account to Microsoft Outlook. Outlook is an email client application that is part of the Microsoft Office 365 and Office Home and Business Suite. Unlike Windows Mail, Outlook is suitable for advanced users, providing a solution to managing emails, calendars, task managing, contact managing, note taking, and so forth. Outlook supports multiple email accounts, allowing you to manage all your email accounts in one place, keeping each account separate. Before you can add your email account, you need to determine if the account needs to be accessed by only one device or if the account needs access from multiple devices. For example, if this PC is the only device to access my email account, then I can use the Post Office Protocol, or POP. This protocol downloads the emails to the PC, then deletes them from the server at the end of the task. This protocol does have its benefits. You have access to your emails, regardless of internet availability, and store as many emails on your PC as you desire. However, if the PC were to crash, you can lose all the emails without a backup, and you can only access your emails from that device. An alternative would be the Internet Message Access Protocol. IMAP was created to allow remote access to emails stored on a remote server. This allows multiple clients or users to manage the same inbox. Whether you log in from your home PC, your smartphone, tablet, or work computer, you will always see the same emails and folder structure because they are stored on the server, and all changes you make to the local copies are immediately synced to the server automatically. IMAP is the better choice if you have a reliable and constant internet connection, need access to the emails on multiple devices, and you are worried about backing up the emails. Next, you will need the names of the incoming mail server and the outgoing mail server, with the port numbers used for communications with the servers. This information can be obtained by the service provider. For example, Comcast's incoming mail server is imap.comcast.net or pop3.comcast.net and their outgoing email server is smtp.comcast.net. The default ports for POP are 110, which is an unsecured connection, and 995 for secure connection. IMAP uses 143 for unsecured connections and 993 for secure connections. The Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, or SMTP, uses port 25 for unsecured connections, while 465 is used for secure connections. Keep in mind that not all service providers use these ports, so be sure to check with your service provider to know which ports to use for making a secure connection. If your email is from Gmail, Yahoo, or Hotmail, Outlook will make setting up your email a breeze. The first thing we need to do is when you open Outlook, you're going to come to this screen. And what you'll need to do is type in your email address of the account that you want to set up. Now, you can also choose the advanced option, and this will let you set up the account manually. Next, you'll do the connect. Now, because that this is a Gmail account, you'll notice that it automatically pops up the uh, Google sign in account. So all I need to do is confirm my email, choose next. Now I could just type in my password, click sign in. Once you have entered your password and verified your account, you're going to come to this screen and it's going to inform you that uh, Google will have access to uh, different accounts and this means that your office account will have access to your emails associates with your personal information on Google and so forth now if you do agree with these terms and conditions as to what it's going to be accessed 
you could either choose deny if you do not approve or you could choose allow if you do approve now once you're finished you'll see it shows here that it's account successfully added uh, you'll see here that it is also using the IMAP protocol uh, this is one of the things about Gmail Hotmail and so forth a lot of them will use IMAP now down here if you wanted to you can also start your next add-on if you need to add other accounts you can uh, enter the new account here and then you'll go through the same process down here you'll see where it says set up Outlook mobile which you can uh, if you want to use Outlook on your mobile phone uh, when you're finished just choose done and there you go now you have all your accounts up here um, you have different um, features um, I have all these in compact I just want to do this as a demonstration uh, you'll see your email address your inbox uh, your drafts outbox uh, if there's any synchronization issues you'll see here and everything here will be set up and you're ready to go and what it will do is it'll keep each account that you add as a separate account this makes it easier to where you can uh, manage your email accounts all in one place now the next step I'm going to show you is if you need to enter the information manually uh, in that case you will go down here to advanced options you'll select the chat box here that says let me set up my account manually and then choose connect now let's do the pop here it's going to ask you for the password on the account and then choose connect when it's finished you'll also see the pop up here to show that it's set up for a pop protocol now if it asks you for uh, the server names or if it asks you for uh, the port numbers be sure that you enter it and I'll show you here in a moment what I'm talking about I'm going to go ahead and click done now you'll see here where it has all of the uh, messages here uh, this is just uh, emails for where I was working with the account doing these videos for you now if for some reason that you do run into some problems to where it's not working properly uh, what you want to do is go up here to file and then you over here to count settings and then you want to go down here to server settings here this will allow you for your incoming mail uh, this would be your username the password and this would be the name of the server so you want to make sure that you double check the name of the server that they're using the port number that you're using and you also want to make sure that the server requires an encrypted connection now for the outgoing mail is similar to the same thing uh, you want to double check that the mail server's name is correct uh, you want to check to make sure that they are using the correct port, port number uh, the encryption method is going to be SSL or TLS and you also uh, want to make sure that the outgoing mail server is set to require authentication now the outgoing server also uses the same settings as the incoming mail server I have not seen any instances where they had two different passwords mostly they both use the same username and password so you want to double check these settings uh, with your service provider to make sure that you do have the correct server names and the correct port numbers and you always want to use a secure connection never use an open or unsecure connection when you're checking your emails once you're finished just choose next and it'll show you that the account was successfully updated and now you can click done and that should help you resolve the issues if you have any trouble just double check the server names and ports uh, this is pretty simple as I showed you how to set up your email uh, if you have any problems or questions uh, be sure to contact your service provider they'll be able to double check and make sure that you have your settings correct well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.